Right guys, Gaft is back with a quick tutorial on how to do the Almsley count for the ones that do not know. I know most of you subscribers are probably better at handling cards than me, but this is just a quick tutorial. So you need four cards. The card that's always going to be hidden is going to be in the third position. You are able to hide more cards than one, but we're just going to go over the basics. So you're going to, whatever card you want to hide is going to be in the third position square the cards up and all you're going to do is sort of use your index finger to hold the top corner of the card and you're just going to slide off the top card so it does help if the cards have got some sort of slide on them, not too old and scruffy looking so you're going to slide off the top card grab the packet below pull it out use your thumb to push the cards over this is going to be two cards now but as you push this over you're going to grab it with your thumb slide these two cards back well taking the first card back push the third card over and then the fourth card that will hide the card that is in the third position so you're going to slide the top card over pull the packet out push two cards off but as you push the packet together this card is just going to slide under your finger as you pull these two cards off three and four so at normal speed it will look like one, two, three, four cards. Now like I said in a previous video, there will be a point when you're at this position, when you push these cards over, there will be, unless you're a professional, there is going to be a little glimpse here. But this is going to happen so fast in the real world that nobody is ever going to really notice it. As long as you do it nice and smooth, no one's ever going to notice that you pushed over two cards. So once again, you're going to hold them in dealer's grip. You're going to put your index finger on the top. This will keep the three cards together as you slide off this one card. Pull these two out. You're going to push two cards over now, look. But as you push them over, this card is going to slide under this finger. Contact the finger as you drag these two off. Three and four. Now, I've got small hands. These are... Um, bridge size cards so they're a bit narrower I know a lot of you guys have got bigger hands because it helps if you can actually grab the cards like this when you drag them back it isn't necessary it works for me um, it is possible to hide more cards if you've got five cards you can still do exactly the same you can hide those two face up cards so you're going to buckle the top card push it over grab this packet you're just going to push three cards over now um, don't think you've got to worry about pushing two or three cards over you're just going to push the rest of the packet over so it doesn't matter even if you add another card here it wouldn't make much difference you're pushing the whole packet over so you buckle the top card push the whole packet over you have got a bit of a thing going on here but like I say in the real world no one's probably ever going to notice so once again you're going to buckle the top card, push it over, keeping these ones sort of quite square if you can. Grab the packet, push over with your thumb, you're going to slide under, contact this card again, pull these two over, three and four. So once again at real speed it will look like four cards. So comment, subscribe, like guys and I do hope that was helpful to somebody. Cheers.